Double 18 outside Vicarage Road has finished Watford 2, Leicester 1. Shane, we were nervous coming up here today. We were thinking, well, I was anyway. You were you said, you called 2-1. Yeah. I was nervous coming up here today, seeing the team. But what a performance the lads put in today. As it's Christmas, I thought I'd start this fan cam in a completely different way, OK? Last Christmas, I gave you my heart. But the very next day, you gave it away. This year, to save me from tears, I'll give it to Marla Wagay. Come on! What a performance. Brilliant performance by him. I mean, I single him out because he was the guy I looked at on the team sheet and thought, what the fuck is this? Like, is Marcus Silva just trolling us all on boxing? Now, that's it. You know, he had too many mince pies and thought, oh, I can't be asked to fit this team. Um, but he really impressed today. He was solid in there. Him and Cavaselli looked like a proper unit, you know, crunching into... T um, Crunching into challenges. Cabasella as well, I noticed, especially in that second half, Lest had some of those fast breaks. He he seemed to be on it. He was switched on. He knew where Vardy Every was. Yard, yeah. That's exactly what we've needed in these last few games. I kind of feel as though he's been a little bit off in that respect. But it's the case with someone like him that the players around him somewhat let him down. Um, Got to give a huge shout out as well. Horelio Gomez. At the end. Oh, those saves. He's. I swear, I swear that guy keeps us in so many games and, you know, Admittedly, I watched back the game last week, unfortunately, and we um, he was at fault for that. You know, He should have done better for that, but for every one mistake he makes, there are three or four saves in a game that keep us in it. And he was doing that today. Um, he was absolutely brilliant in that respect. Um, I was, as I say, you know, we we're on our way up here, and I looked at the team. Some people were quite positive. They were like, well, do you know what? If Richarlison's up there on his own, you know, he's... He's got that pace. He, you know, he's an unknown quantity up front. So you know, he'd be able to give the likes of Morgan and um, Maguire, you know, a bit of a um, a bit of a run around. I've got to be honest though. As much as I like Richarlison, I still think we're giving him a bit of an easy ride. He should have finished two chances easily in that for, um, in that first half. The first one he rounded Petr Cech already. Just had that shot. He scores that one all, and it's a different game. He gets the next one as well. Great, great through play by Akaka for that one. Um, if he scores that, it's 2-1 before halftime. It's a completely different game. And, we, and I honestly think we get those two goals, we absolutely run away with it in that second half. Um, Okaka, I thought, was fantastic today. Um, I'm not sure what happened. I've been hearing lots of things. Apparently, it was a tactical switch for Pereira. Some saying he was injured. I saw him go down the tunnel instantly. I'm not sure if he came back again, but I'm not sure. Um, but he looked good, holding the ball up really well. He needs more minutes, though. If he gets that minute, and if he has that time up front, he will mould into a much better player. But he looked good. He looked really positive on the, um, on the pitch. Um, yeah, um, the, thing, the thing about this game is that it was a must-win. It was an absolutely a must-win. You know, we've seen some terrible performances uh, these last, what, five, six games. And, you know, we've, we've been at all of them, unfortunately. Um, and, you know, whereas, whereas some are... Whereas, for some defeats, you can say, well, they were just a better team. For some of them, we, we, we were terrible. The Palace game springs to mind. We should have won that. Um, Huddersfield, dreadful. And I was fearing the worst as well, because you, because you could almost argue Leicester about Southern Huddersfield, tactically, in their players as well. Their, um, their players looked, off it, um, looked really off it today. Mares, Vardy, I thought, were really poor. Um, but were they poor, or was it down to our defensive astuteness? I think it was probably more down to the latter of that. Um, Ziegler I thought did really well as well on the left back position and buzzing for Nick Hill as I say as I said at the top man you know it's it's so rare for a player we saw it with Ziegler as well it's so rare that for a player to actually like make almost an instant impact in that respect you know Wago came in it's his first game um, his first debut I think yeah, I think he's making debut, yeah. home 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 debut yeah, since, since one's away um, nah he looked he looked really good today I think I would almost go as far as to say you start with the same team for the Swansea game on Saturday, the only change I would make, you, you start a caca really for Pereira. It's nothing against Pereira, I like him, but he's just not that, he struggled with his injuries. He's I gone off the boil. Yeah, 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 he has. And it's such a shame as well, because we missed him last season, I think. And, you know, he, we're used to his flair and his style of passing, you know, he always seems to be two or three steps ahead, but it's, it's a mixture, I think, of his injury. Carrillo as well. I thought, I thought he had a better game today, Carrillo. I just think the last few games, he's just been a bit, He's been a bit lethargic, but also, you know, the international break really kind of took it out of him. You know, he qualified with Peru and all that. It was a massive international break for him and stuff in his personal life. I think his wife's given birth and all that. But all that to one side, he's looked a little bit leggy in the last few games. He, he had a really good return of form today. 
Um, it's going to become a point. It's, it's going to come a point where our players are going to need a bit of a rest. Richarlison today, if he was fresher, he would have finished those chances. I definitely He's think so. Yeah, he has got a score. Absolutely, you know, it's all well and good us having a go at other players when they don't, you know, when they don't take their chances. Richarlison, yeah, he's a young player, don't get me wrong, you know, we all love him to bits here and he loves the club, but he shouldn't be given an easier ride, he should be given the same kind of treatment as well, nothing nasty, you know, but just, he, I've always said with him, he needs to work on his finishing, and, it's, and it was the case for the Chelsea game as well, you know, if he'd scored that, we would have beat, he's got one of those chances he would have, would have beaten, yeah, you know, Bedlam in the away end, but I'm actually really happy, I've had a good Christmas, thank God we got the win today. Swansea next week, massive Saturday, game, we've got, Saturday, oh, sorry, I was Saturday, next Saturday, um, We've got to follow this up with a win. Oh, absolutely, yeah. This result will be absolutely meaningless. Absolutely meaningless. It will be consigned to the history books of just another game if we don't beat Swansea. We have to beat Swansea. The Christmas run hasn't been great. Let's, let's be honest. It hasn't been great. We can, we've now got an opportunity to get two wins on the bounce at home at the Vic. The atmosphere was good today as well. Those last few minutes, we were actually getting behind the players. The rookery was rallying. It of Arsenal at home. Oh, it was fantastic. It really was. Um, all we need to do is start the game well. And if we start that game and if, and if we start the game well, our Kaka starts, puts himself about a bit, we'll worry Swansea. Swansea are poor defensively. They are a they are a relegation candidate. They really are. Um, but then again they've always got their threats. But we we need to be as sharp as we were today. As I say, Cabasele Wage, two standout players today. I hope they have a hope they start and I hope they have a great game on Saturday.